Welcome to the video course about video editing of the Video Teach project. During this course, you will learn how to edit your video by using different techniques of cutting between the scenes. Shooting a video is only the first part of the video making process, which is followed by video editing. Editing consists of the purposeful arrangement of video footage and involves the use of various techniques and authorial approaches to create a cohesive, engaging, and visually appealing story. A fundamental principle of video editing is continuity editing. Its purpose is to maintain the visual continuity of the narrative. It is primarily focused on improving clarity and creating a compelling storytelling experience. In video editing, there are two ways of moving from one shot to the next. Cutting and trimming, removing unwanted material, eliminating pauses and mistakes, and creating seamless transitions between shots. Transitions, making the flow from one scene to the next smooth and engaging. A cut is when one shot goes to the next without any effect. The simplest technique of cutting between scenes is the so-called standard cut or hard cut, which is used to put two shots together where one shot ends and the next one begins without any insert. However, beside the hard cut, video editors use many other different techniques of cutting between scenes. Here we will present some of the most popular types. J-cut and L-cut. Jump cut. Match cut. Cut on action. Cut in. Shot reverse shot and look object react cut. J cut and L cut. These techniques use the audio of the video to ensure continuity from one scene to the next. J cut. The name J cut comes from the appearance of the audio waveform. It resembles the letter J when the audio starts before the video. In a J cut, the audio from the upcoming scene begins playing while the current scene is still visible on the screen. In this way, the audience can hear the audio from the next scene before they can see it. Thus, a smooth transition between the current scene and the upcoming one is provided, which helps the editor establish continuity and anticipation for what is about to happen next. L-cut The name comes from the appearance of the audio waveform. It resembles the letter L when the audio overlaps the video. In an L-cut, the audio from the previous scene extends beyond the cut point and overlaps with the beginning of the next scene. This allows the audience to hear the audio from the previous scene as the next scene comes on screen. The overlapping audio provides a smooth transition between the two scenes. In this way, the editor creates continuity and flow between different parts of the video by seamlessly linking the audio and visual elements. Jump cut is a video editing technique where two shots of the same subject are cut together, resulting in a jarring and discontinuous transition. Unlike traditional editing techniques that maintain visual continuity between shots, jump cuts intentionally create a sense of discontinuity and disruption in the video. In a jump cut, the subject remains the same, but there is a noticeable change in the framing, angle, or scale of the shot. Jump cuts are often used to compress time or convey a sense of urgency or intensity in the video. By eliminating non-essential or repetitive footage, jump cuts can accelerate the pace of the video and maintain the viewer's interest. To create a jump cut editors remove portions of the footage between two sequential shots of the same subject. This can be done by cutting the video track and removing the unwanted segments. The resulting jump cut should be visually abrupt and noticeable to the viewer. A match cut is a video editing technique used as a transition between two different shots while maintaining continuity between them. Unlike a jump cut, which creates a jarring or discontinuous transition, a match cut aims to create a seamless connection between two shots by matching elements such as shape, movement, color, or composition, or by aligning similar auditory elements in both shots. Achieving a successful match cut requires careful planning, precise editing, and attention to detail. Editors must consider factors such as timing, pacing, and framing to ensure that the transition between shots is seamless and effective. When used thoughtfully, Match cuts can create memorable and immersive viewing experiences for the audience. A cut on action is a video editing technique where a scene is transitioned from one shot to another in synchronization with a specific action or movement within the frame. This technique helps to maintain the flow and continuity of the action across different shots, creating a seamless and dynamic visual experience for the viewer. First, the editor needs to identify a specific action or movement within the scene that will serve as the cue for the transition between shots. Then, the editor selects the precise moment within the action sequence to make the cut between shots. The aim is to find a point where the action is at its most dynamic or visually engaging. 
After that, the editor synchronizes the cut with the selected action, ensuring that the transition between shots occurs precisely when the action is happening or about to happen on screen. A cut-in is a video editing technique where a close-up or detailed shot is inserted into a sequence in order to highlight a specific detail, action, or emotion within the scene. Cut-ins provide viewers with a more intimate or focused view of the subject, enhancing the overall storytelling and visual impact of the video. In fast-paced scenes, cut-ins can highlight specific actions or movements that may otherwise be overlooked. By isolating key moments or details, cut-ins draw attention to the dynamic elements of the scene and enhance the viewer's engagement. Cut-ins also can serve as transition elements between shots, helping to smooth the flow of the narrative and maintain visual continuity. By strategically inserting cut-ins between longer shots, the editor can create a rhythm and pacing. Shot reverse shot is a video editing technique used when filming a conversation or some other interaction between two characters. It involves alternating between shots of each character, typically with one character facing the camera while the other character is off screen or facing away. The scene continues to alternate between shots of the two characters as the conversation or interaction progresses. Shot reverse shot is an excellent tool to use when editing an interview, as it maintains visual continuity throughout the conversation, ensuring that the viewer can follow the flow of dialogue and understand the dynamics between the characters. The alternating shots create a rhythm and pacing that keeps the scene engaging and dynamic. These are the most popular types of cutting between scenes used in video editing. The choice of cuts depends on the style and pacing of the video, as well as the preferences of the editor. Effective use of different cuts can enhance the overall quality and impact of a video by creating a seamless and engaging viewing experience. However, sometimes instead of simply cutting between scenes, the editor prefers to use transitions. These are special moves between the shots, which are the subject of the next video, Video Editing Techniques. Part 2. Transitions. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels such as Facebook or the official website of the Project Videoteach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.